Here we start. Let's sit at the, at the foot of the mat, sitting back on your heels. If that's comfortable, for some people sitting back on the heels is excruciating. One thing you can do is have a cushion there that sometimes eases that off. And sitting up nice and tall, take your right ear to your right shoulder. As you exhale, chin comes down to chest. The left ear across to left shoulder. And then changing the other direction. wake up this morning, circling shoulders, circling elbows, and we're waking up our heart, so as you circle your elbows, let that movement begin at the heart. So it might be the elbows that really look like they're moving, but actually it starts from the heart. Maybe full arm extensions as you inhale, reaching up. And exhale, hands coming down. Okay, and then coming onto all fours, we'll take a little bit of cat and cow. Inhaling as you look forwards, dipping the spine towards the floor, tucking the tailbone up. Keep the shoulders away from the ears so the neck is really easy and long. Exhale as you tuck. Bringing chin to chest, pressing heart up towards the sky. Moving like that. To remember the fluid nature of your spine. It doesn't always feel so fluid at 6.30 in the morning. You might want to add some circles to the hips. And then change direction. And then tucking toes under, sit back on heels and stretch our feet out. And then exhale, hands back to the floor, returning to all fours. Walk your hands forwards, let's melt our hearts towards the earth. Maybe the forehead comes down, maybe the chin. Bottom stays high. And if you press the palms into the floor and slide your shoulder blades down your back, you get a nice stretch in the armpit as well. And I think we should add a twist here. So pick up the left arm, thread it beneath the right armpit, turning left ear to the floor. Inhale as you come back up. Pick up the right arm, thread it beneath the left armpit, turning right ear to the floor. Inhale as you come back to centre, hands out in front of you. Rock your hips forwards as they come down towards the ground. Roll the shoulders away from your ears and inhale as you come up into a little cobra. Press down through the hands as you exhale. Glide the hips back, sit all the way back on your heels. Inhale, reach your arms up, come up onto your knees. Exhale, hands to the floor. Walk your hands forwards. Come into a little cobra. Rolling the shoulders away from your ears. And exhaling as you sit back on your heels. Inhale, up onto your knees. Reach your arms high. Exhale, hands to the floor. 
Walk them a little further forward. Lower your hips down to the ground. Little cobra as you inhale. And exhale back onto your heels. Tuck your toes under and come into a down dog. Just going to grab a tissue, sorry. And make this a really nice lazy down dog as you wriggle and flow. Have your knees super bent so your spine gets to be long and spacious. And then start to bring the heels down towards the floor. And lift the heels up high and then drop the heels down. Do that a few times, you're waking up your feet. And then dropping your knees to the floor, steadying your gaze ahead of your fingertips. Inhale as you reach your right leg out. And as you exhale, bring that knee in forwards, plant it between your hands. Coming into a nice lunge, hips moving towards that front heel. Inhale, arms come up high. Let's interlink fingers, bring the palms to the back of the head, open the elbows wide and look up. Glide our sitting bones back, keep that front heel anchored, toes can point upwards. Inhale as you look ahead and exhale as you fold. So how is this movement coming from the heart? When you breathe, is it, it's often the neck isn't it, we come into this nodding donkey thing. But actually when you move from the heart it's very different, the neck stays still. And then walking your hands forwards on the next inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, hands to the floor, bring your knees together. And we'll do the same on the other side. So left leg extends back as you inhale. As you exhale, foot comes forward between hands. Hips start to lunge towards that front heel. Inhale as you look ahead and bring your arms up high. Interlink fingers, take the palms to the back of the head, open the elbows wide, lean your head back as you look up and breathe. Now for me, especially this morning, that's really affecting my breath. I can feel how the elbows want to cave in towards each other. Opening the elbows out wide feels really quite challenging. And my breath feels shallow probably because I've been cuddling the cat and I'm a bit wheezy. Or it could be hay fever. Who knows? But it's interesting to notice for yourself. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to the floor. Gliding the sitting bones back. Heels stay grounded. Toes pointing up. Inhale as you look forwards. Exhale as you fold. Coming across to the other side. It may feel really quite different. Let the breath be the thing that remains consistent. Where are you feeling it? Where can you wriggle to create some space? Inhale as your arms come. Walk forwards, hips lunge forward. Reach the arms up and exhale, hands to the floor. Stepping back, so knees are together. Tuck the toes under. Press into the hands, come into a nice down dog. Inhale, reach the right leg up. Three-legged down dog. Let's stay here for a few breaths. Play around with the left heel. You can lift it and then drop it. As you exhale, bring the knee in towards your chest. Plant the foot forward. So we're going to keep that back knee off the floor this time. Coming into a lunge. Inhale, arms come up. 
Interlink hands, bring palms to the back of the head, open the elbows wide. Look up and open up the front of your chest. Nice deep breaths here. Let's release our arms, take hands behind, interlink fingers and press the palms away. Opening up the chest even more, lift your gaze. Hear the sound of your breath, Ujjayi breath. Releasing the arms, take them up high over the head. Exhale, hands to the floor. And we're going to play around here to so stabilize yourself through your feet. Hands as your support. As you inhale, you're going to look forwards and the hips are going to come low. And then as you exhale, your hips are going to draw back towards the back of the mat, chin towards chest, as you straighten that front leg. Inhale, bend the front knee, come low. And exhale as you draw back. Well, feel free to drop the eyelids so your, your movement is guided by the sensation rather than the appearance. Bending that front knee, coming back into the lunge. Take your hands either side of that front foot and step back. And we'll take a little high plank, draw the tummy in. And you can choose to drop the knees at any time or you can take a chaturanga if that's something that feels comfortable this morning. Inhaling as you roll up into either up face double cobra. And exhaling as you come back into down dog. Right foot stays down, left foot rises. We'll pause for some breaths here. The right heel can start to drop down towards the floor. You can play around with this pose. On the next exhale, you're going to look forward, bring the knee in towards your chest, place the foot forward between your hands. Inhale, reaching your arms up, coming into a nice lunge. Exhale, take your hands behind, oh no, sorry, skipping ahead. Interlink your fingers, press the head into the palms, open the elbows wide. You really get to open up the front of your chest here, those front ribs. Deep breath. Release the arms, take them round behind your back. Press the palms away. Inhale as you look up again. What do you notice? What do you feel here? Release the arms. Inhale as they come up. Exhale, hands to the floor. Stepping back. Chaturanga or drop the knees up to you. Little vinyasa. Getting all the fluid body to circulate a little bit more. Nice deep breath. Okay, right leg rises. Inhale. Let's spin the hips, bend that top knee. Inhale back to three legged down dog. And exhale as you step the foot forward. Just realised I completely forgot part of that last side. So we'll have to do double this side. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, elbows out into cactus. Inhale, elbows go back, looking up. And as you exhale, imagine these arms turn into eagle wings as you lean forwards and the arms come forward. You're reaching as far ahead as you can. Inhale. Open the elbows wide, looking up. And exhale, coming forwards. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Hands to the floor, step back. Travelling down. Inhaling up. And exhaling back. 
left leg rises. Bend that top knee, swivel the hips. Inhaling back to center. And exhaling left foot forwards. So we're going to have to add on the bit I missed off last side. So bend that front knee, come down low on your hips. Inhale as you look forwards. And as you exhale, straighten the front leg, bring the chin towards your chest. Inhale as you come forwards. And exhale as you come back. Let the movement come from the heart rather than the head. Okay, that's the last one. So now bending that front knee, come down low. Inhale, reach your arms up. Coming into cactus as you exhale. Inhale, draw the elbows back, look up. As you exhale, like eagle arms coming forwards. Eagle wings, rather. Inhale as you come up. Exhale as you come forwards. Inhale as you come up. And exhale as you come forwards. Inhaling up. And this time exhale all the way down to the ground, stepping back. Vinyasa. Whichever shape you want to make. Let's walk our hands in towards our feet. And come into a nice standing forward bend. Fold your arms. So you get that lovely extra bonus weight. And just wriggle a little bit here, sway. Release the arms, bring your hands to your waist, soften your knees and inhale as you come up. We're going to come into Garuda, take the weight to your left foot, bring your right knee up, circle your foot. And then change directions. Wrapping the right leg over the top of the left. Hooking the foot across. And then taking left elbow forwards 90 degrees straight out in front of you. Right over the top, palms together. St uh, let yourselves drop a little lower. Press the elbows a little further forward. Press the hands towards one another so you're really squeezing. Legs are squeezing and arms are squeezing. And you can hear your breath. Breathing into the back of the heart, the space between the shoulder blades. Now keep the hands as they are, unravel the legs and tip forwards, lean forwards as you extend the right leg out behind you. And then inhale as you come slowly back up, feet together, and unravel the arms. Well done, we'll do the same on the other side. So weight moves to right foot, left knee extends, lifts, and just circling your ankle in both directions. Right elbow, oh no, sorry, I'm a bit scatty today. Take your leg around, hook your leg around. Right elbow forwards, left over the top, palms come together. Elbows pressing forwards as you breathe into the space at the back of your heart. Unraveling the leg, leaning forwards as you tip into Angel pose. Inhale as you come. 
come back up, feet together, and unravel the arms. Let's step our feet wide apart. Feet parallel to one another. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, take your hands to your waist. Draw your elbows back behind you, so you're really opening up the front of your chest. Your hips are going to lean forwards as you inhale and look up. Without locking your knees, so there's still a little bit of bounce going on in your legs, you're going to exhale and come forwards. Chin towards chest, crown of head towards floor. And it's not uncommon to put all of the weight here in your heels. See if you can just shift that a little so that the whole of your foot is active in holding you in place. Soften the knees and inhale as you come all the way up. Reach your arms up high. As you exhale, take your hands behind your back, interlink fingers, press the palms away. <coughs> inhale, lift your heart. And as you exhale, lean forwards, bringing your arms up overhead behind you. Doesn't matter how far they go, just play around with this. Watch that you're not accidentally locking your knees. And sometimes it's quite nice to try to bring the palms together. It will definitely make it feel like you're not moving quite so far, but it's just interesting. So there's one position available to me if my palms are apart. I bring my palms together, it's really quite different. And soften the knees, drop your center of gravity as you inhale and lift. Reaching your arms up high. We'll go for one more variation. Exhale as you come forwards, hands to the floor. Now with your hands on the floor, you can probably separate your feet further apart. It can be quite satisfying. If that does feel good, then do it. If it doesn't, then don't. Little toe edge of the foot continues to press down into the floor. Inhale as you look forwards, and as you, as you exhale, fold, chin to chest, crown of head towards the floor. So feet and hands are all in the same line now. And for some of you, the crown of your head will also come down to meet that same line. Notice you can hear your breath here, hopefully. And keeping the hands and feet where they are, just take a little bit of a twist in the pelvis as you sort of wriggle a tiny bit from side to side. Little movement. And feel into the muscles around the hip joint. Walk the left hand to the centre. Extend the right hand up as you take a nice twist. This bottom hand might continue all the way over to the right ankle. You're reading the sound of your breath. Taking the pose where the breath guides you to go. Bring both hands down back to the centre. Nice moment in neutral. And now the right hand stays down, the left hand rises. Lovely twist. Maybe this right hand continues all the way over to the left ankle. And then bring both hands down to the floor. So you're in centre. Let's walk our hands forwards now. Place them, I don't know, it's about half a, half a metre in front. And then let your hips draw back behind you. Bring your chin to your chest. And where your hands are pressing into the floor, 
you get this sort of unusual but really quite nice stretch through the armpit, through the spine, through the thighs. So the hands are anchoring you, but your, your bottom is pulling you back. And then walking your hands in, take the heels in, the toes in, so your feet are a little bit closer together. Soften your knees and inhale as you roll your way back up. Hopefully you're not head spinning too much. Bring your feet together. So I'm hoping you've got a wall close to you. I've got this big wall here. I'm actually going to use the door because I think that's going to be easier for you to see. So you're going to go to the wall and you're going to stand about half a meter away. And then you're going to bring your hands against the wall out in front of you. And then you're going to take a step back, stick your bottom back behind you, bring your chin towards your chest, and as you lean into the wall, you're going to simultaneously pull the sitting bones back. Maybe it would be better if I do it here. It's quite nice, actually, if you have something to hold on to, so a high shelf or a table can feel really nice. I'm going to breathe here. And you might find there's a little reel that needs to happen. Well done. And then inhale as you come back up. And again on the wall, you're going to, I'm going to show you this way. You're going to Stand facing the wall and bring your arm out 90 degrees like a cactus arm and then turn the opposite way so you're going to move your body to face the opposite direction and lean into the wall. This hand pressing into the wall is still active, it's not just hanging out there. You are pushing away through the wall. And then we'll turn to face the wall again, bringing the left arm up, right arm can come down. Turn the body to face the right, lean into the wall, push the wall away through the hand, and breathe. And then turn to face the wall again, bring your arms back. Let's take the hands into the wall, step back. I'm really going to show you my bottom now as we lean and return to where we were just a moment ago. And then remove the hands from the wall, fold the elbows and just fold, hanging in a forward bend. And let yourself sweep from side to side. And release the arms, bring your hands to your waist, soften your knees as you inhale and come back up to standing. That is the end of our practice. Have an amazing day everybody.